beautiful girls. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Um, so today we are talking about identity in our Tips, Thoughts and Truth series. Identity, wow, uh, it's a huge one, right? And I feel like it's very well covered in the Christian realm. Um, and but it's a massive topic and I sat down in prayer and I just felt so overwhelmed and I just had this real sense of just like underqualification. I was like, God, like what what are we talking about here? How are we gonna like what 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 is it? You know, what is the message to convey? And what do these women need to hear? What do I need to hear? Um, and I sat for a while and wasn't getting much. Um, but I just felt this real sense of like it's important to be honest. And so I just want to start by saying like some days I do feel like a wavering leaf being blown around in the earthly storm of Instagram influencers, of people's comments, of what clothes I'm wearing, how my makeup looks. And I do feel that. And so I just really want to say that first. Like, I do sometimes feel like a wavering leaf being blown around in an earthly storm of how we find our identities. Um, but there are days where I feel rooted in Christ and I feel like a tree. And my ident identity is really solidified in, in who Jesus says I am. But it's it's an up and down journey. So I really wanted to just share that first. Um, and then God did give me this amazing thought, which I've heard so many preachers say. So first of all, I just want to say I am a messenger here and I'm just passing on wisdom that I've heard previously of like, this beautiful analogy of if something is lost or damaged, then we take it to the creator or we take it to the expert in the field. So my car breaks, I go to a mechanic. My iPhone breaks, I take it to the Apple store. If we break or if we lose our identity or our, our identity feels broken, we need to go back to our creator. We've got to go back to God. He is an expert on us. He designed us. He knows us inside out, back to front. Like it never fails to amaze me. He designed all the intricate parts of us. And so we've got to go back to him and we've got to stop doing ourselves a disservice and counterfeiting our identity. Whether that's going to Instagram to be influenced by people on there, whether that's um, going for a retail therapy and buying loads of new clothes and suddenly refining our identity because we've got a new wardrobe. I've been there and I still go there. Um, or whether it's uh, the way that we've done our makeup today and we're finding our identity in that because it looks really flawless. Or um, I don't know, you get me, you get my drift here. Like there are so many ways to counterfeit how we feel about ourselves and our identity. But ultimately all of those things are unreliable and they are not consistent. And so I just really want to encourage us today to step back, stop doing yourself a disservice and remember that when you sit on your bed with a pineapple bun on your head, no makeup, PJs from when you were 12 years old, like God, your identity is in Jesus. So none of those things matter. Like Jesus is on fire inside of you. It says in the Bible that we um, we have the power of what raised Christ from the dead inside of us. And that is your identity. It is on Jesus, the solid rock and nothing else. And the world teaches us the opposite. So I I hear you. Give yourself grace and space to know that the world is teaching you the opposite, but to know that your intrinsic being and your identity inside of you is solely found in Jesus Christ. And I really want you to know that today. And so just to lead on to a little section of the Bible that I was reading. In John 9, it talks about spiritual blindness. And I feel like we are all so spiritually blind to how beautiful we are and what God has put inside of us. And I'd actually just written in my Bible, I just scrawled across the words, Jesus, I need glasses, help me to see. And so I want to just hand that over to you today and just for you guys to pray that prayer with me of like, Jesus, I need glasses. Help me to see me. Help me to see me how you see me. Help me to see me how you see me. And like, that feels like such a game changer, right? Like, oh, it's just so overwhelming. God is so overwhelming. And I just pray that this, this speaks to you today and that you are praying along with me, like, Give me new vision, God. Help me to see myself how you do. Um, I am not ugly. I am not worthless. I am not untalented. I have an identity that is found in Jesus who was raised from the dead. And that power is living in you today. Um, so take this word, run with it. And if you feel lost or confused or broken about your identity, then go back to your creator because he knows you better than anyone. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.